Hey guys, it's Lando here. Um, decided it was time to do my first video review. I've done several written reviews on MRE Info forums. I'm kind of embarrassed because I used the MRE Info site so many years and never realized they had a forum on there. Once I got in, it was an awesome place with some awesome people and you can get some awesome information. Yes, I used awesome a lot. But I'm in a very special place today, out on a hunting trip with my nephew and my brother. And I've always said I wanted to do some reviews on some special items, try to do it in special places. So this is one of the first special MREs I have gotten. This has actually came to me courtesy of a trade through Gundog. Gundog, love you, man. Great guy. You're awesome. But this is a Spanish ration I did a trade with Gundog for. And it was one of my pinnacles, so to speak. So now that I have it, I wanted to give it the proper due in the review. Now with the sunlight, it's kind of hard to see there. So let me get over here. Ration Individual de Combat. Individual Combat Ration. As you can see, December 2017, and this one, where was the number? Can't remember which one this was. We'll, we'll look in just a minute. But as you can see, I've already done a little sneaky peek. It's already been opened, so I'm going to go ahead and open it up, let you see what's in here, see what you think. Hang on one moment. As you can see here, we have... Menu 2 on Comita B, which this should have. Yes. Armed Forces Individual Combat Ration Lunch B, menu number 2. All right. As you can see... We're nicely packed. Individual packets. And it's very hard to film these because of the coloring. Sopa de ver okay, the soup. And we're just gonna go ahead and go through this the rest of the way. Fruit cocktail. Sorry. Pull tab. Pate de la Pimenta. That helps a little bit. The longer does can go status. Sardines and tomato sauce. Not a big fan of sardines. You may have to let my nephew try that one. And of course, all of our little accessories. And give me one moment. I'm going to take a look through and we'll see what we got. Okay, I will go ahead and apologize if any of y'all get motion sickness. I'm going to try to let know, you know what all we have here. We have, of course bag of vegetable soup this is meatballs with peas sardines with tomato sauce fruit cocktail this is four bags of isotonic powder with vitamin c we have our disinfectant or hand sanitizer the toothpaste of course you know the breakfast come with a toothbrush so each meal has toothpaste we have our water purification tablets. We have our dental gum. Of course, the heating tabs, the matches, the stove. And if y'all are familiar with uh, Kiwi Dude, you'll know how much fun these stoves can be. And, of course, the paper. Now, we're going to go ahead and start getting some of this stuff heated. See what we can find out. Oh, and I almost forgot we have our pate right here. 
Okay, folks, glad to have you back. We're going to do the rest of this a little bit differently. As you can see, I did cheat a little bit. Not only do I have the Spanish stove going, I broke out my camp stove, got it going as well. That way we can have some hot soup and a hot meal. So I'm going to be honest with you, right now, it's probably about 55 degrees and windy out here. Hot soup sounds really good. <laughs> so... And I do apologize for any broken cameras, but I am about to come on screen. Hey. All right, so first thing we're going to start with. Another thing Gundog did send with this was the crackers. Got to have the crackers with this meal. So while this finishes up, we're going to slide it down a touch. Yeah, That's burnt out. That's kind of warm, so I think we're going to be good to go on that. Huh. So one thing I did just notice about this, they do not provide any utensils. That is very interesting. One second. All right, well, I'm suitably embarrassed. Turns out I don't even have one on me yet either. Normally I keep a utensil in my bag just to be safe. Hey, I'm a big guy. You never know when I might be getting able to eat. And I have another ration I'm going to review that I know has a utensil in it, but I really don't want to open it up yet till I actually start the review. So, we're going to go old school. Stove is cooled off. Alright. Toothpaste, all this stuff we don't need right this second. These are a mystery to me, so we're going to have to check that out. I'm going to set them in here for right now. Gum and water purifying. We're going to move all this to the side for just a few moments. All right. Pate. Soup. And the crackers. Now let's take a look at these crackers. Pan galetta, as you can see. These are very unique. Huh. Ooh, that looks really good. Well, let me see. I right, got some good steam coming off the water. Yeah, that's good and hot. Finish burning out. This allows you to the side. All right, we're going to set the cracker right there. Hmm. All right, soup is in. We already have a trash bag because the campsite we chose somebody had left messed up so we cleaned it up before we or my nephew cleaned it up before we finished setting everything up all right stir 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 you know while that's still burning just to make sure all right now let's do this Okay, first let's try one alone. Hmm. Hmm. I honestly expected it to be harder. More like the German crackers from the way it looks. This is real flaky. Almost kind of like a Ritz without the butter. So, let's have a little fun. Pork pate. All right. Good old fashioned pork spread. It says with pimento, so I'm sure it has some sort of pepper in here. Got us a nice little hunk.
Here it goes. Hmm. Hmm. It's got a nice meaty taste. Almost closer to a potted meat type flavor than what I would consider a pate. Normally, I consider a Pate something with liver in it. Can't taste liver in this, which for some people might be a good thing. I actually like liver. Try a little bit by itself. Real smooth with a hint of graininess. It doesn't leave an aftertaste. An unusual spice blend. I'm, I'm not quite getting exactly what it is. I will go ahead and tell you this. This pate with these crackers, they're not going to make it through the night. There will be none of this left. Because that, hang on. That is a good combination. Mm. Okay, it's hot but not too hot. Hmm, looks like I had a little issue with the blending. But, looks like enough of it's in. Let's see how it is. get chicken from the base you got some carrot I can't read Spanish it's okay a good hot cup of soup is gonna be good no matter what this it's not going to be in my top five, but I wouldn't turn it down. It's actually, I mean, it's it's middle of the road. That's, that's about the only way I can put it. It's middle of the road. I mean, there are chunks of stuff in here. I'm not sure if it's tofu or if it's supposed to be chicken or what. Let's see if I can get this out here. Yeah. You can see there. There's a chicken piece. I don't know, I'm almost getting hints of saffron. Not much in the way of garlic, which is something I would actually expect. Surprisingly enough, not much in the way of onion either. But the carrot is coming through. Huh, we'll come back to that. All right. Meatballs and peas. Yep, that's pretty much what it is. Meatballs and peas. Smells average. <laughs> like, that's the way I'd put this. It smells like an MRE. Cut me off a little bit here. And try it out. Hmm. Hmm. 
Wow. That is a lot better than I expected it to be. Because, I mean, it has that... That Denny Moore beef stew type of smell when you open the can. Just that processed meat smell. You know, you smelled it in several MREs. You can tell it's a processed beef. But taste? That is good. Man. That is really good. Hmm. Yeah, that's not going to make it through the night either. All right. I'm I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to talk to you for a second here. I'm not a big fish eater. Not at all. Especially canned fish. Ate so much fish when I was younger because it's cheap. It's plentiful, especially when you live across the road from a major river and you're catching a lot of it. I, I still to this day can hardly eat catfish. We had so much. But, to give an honest and thorough review, I'm going to try them. Now, one thing I will say where we're camping at is in the middle of the uh, Chattahoochee National Forest in North Georgia. This area is known for its bear population. And as a matter of fact, this weekend is open weekend for bear hunting. So, none of this food will stay around the campsite once it has been opened. None of these cans will stay around the campsite. Yeah, I'll go bye-bye. Because as much as I like bear, and they make good jerky, I don't want to see one in the middle of the night when I'm trying to sleep. All right, enough time wasting. Hmm. Hmm. Surprisingly not bad. Not what I expected. doesn't have a heavy you do get you get an aftertaste of the fishiness but the tomato and the acid and the tomato the spices help to cover it up the fillets they are still fillets so that helps to give it a good meatiness that is something I would keep out of the ration, I would not eat it right off, but it would make a great survival item because you can eat it and you can also use it as bait. Excuse me just a moment. I go back for another meatball. These things are good. Okay, one item left, and then I'll quit torturing you. <laughs> Cocktail de frutas. Sorry about that, folks. Um, turns out I had a battery go dead. So, all right, we left off with the fruit cocktail. As you can see, opened it, found a spoon, tried it. Fruit cocktail. Same thing you can get off the shelf labeled Del Monte or I mean, grapes, cherries, peaches. And there was grapes and cherries in the bottom, so we're good to go. All in all, rather good ration. You see what's barely left. <laughs> um, just a quick note, let you know where this is being filmed. That is a river in the background. 
We are in the middle of nowhere. The trash we picked up from the people who were here previously. It's a great place. Well, I'm going to finish this one out. Here's a little sneak preview of the next one. And yes, Odwin, that is the mess kit we traded for. My next review. Ration de Combat Individual. French Individual Reheatable Combat Ration. Menu 10. Duck mashed potatoes, Italian salad, traditional pork pate, soup, processed cheese. <sighs> that will be dinner, breakfast, and lunch tomorrow. All right. Till next time.